Hey, what's up everybody, it's Alfaro here, and today we're going to be talking about my cleaner tier list for Swarm Mode. I stream a lot of Swarm on my YouTube and Twitch, and I have over 490 hours on Back for Blood. A good amount of those hours have been on Swarm. Overall, this tier list is based on which four cleaners are you going to pick to get you the W. So now we're going to start with the B tier, and the first person on the B tier is Hoffman. Now, I know a lot of you are Hoffman fans, you know, character designs, personality, and all that, but this is just solely based on Swarm Mode. So we'll go with his first perk which Hoffman has a chance to find ammo whenever he kills a Ridden. So ammo in general in swarm mode isn't hard to find because you'll have ammo pouches and ammo crates and if you play with a good team everyone wouldn't use the same gun. So if I used a shotgun and I had a friend use an SMG I would say to the friend with the SMG hey you have shoddy ammo and they'll just drop it for me. Bam. You usually don't have enough ammo when you get to like the four minute five minute mark when the circle is small but hey if you made it that far with your team then the other team really doesn't have a shot unless you know everyone is screwing up when they become the special ridden but other than that ammo isn't really hard to find and that's me personally no matter what character i play i have a good amount of ammo to slay the ridden now his next perk is plus one offensive inventory so he's really good if you want to pick up multiple grenades but the thing is grenades in general and swarm is pure rng you may get some grenades in your match you may not even find a single grenade in your match it's all rng so that little perk there is good but it is only good if you can find what you really want and then his next perk is plus 10 percent max team ammo capacity again we'll go back to what i was saying about ammo ammo isn't really hard to find in swarm mode the next person on the b tier list is carly so carly can sense nearby hazards and mutations now, when you play Swarm, you can pretty much see a tall boy in a distance, a stinger in a distance, a reek or a wretch. You can pretty much know where everyone is at. And you can also ping, you know, hey, there's someone on that rooftop, ping up there. You know, that little perk right there isn't truly necessary. And you can most of the time hear the footsteps if someone's on top of your house or on top of wherever you're camping in Swarm mode. Now, she does have plus one quick inventory. So you'll be able to carry, you know, multiple razor wires with her if you want to camp in a location or if you want to carry multiple stun guns it's all rng because you may not find razor wire or stun gun in your match so that's pure rng right there and then she has plus 50 percent team u speed which is probably the best thing out of her kit because that means you can use bandages, med kits, pain pills faster. You can revive faster. You can defibrillate faster. You can open crates faster. One good thing that Carly has is that she starts out with a toolkit. So you'll be able to get an extra card if you find the mini supply crate with a toolkit. Now the first cleaner in the A tier category is Evangelo. Evangelo can quickly break out grabs once every 60 seconds. So that means if a crusher gets him or a stalker gets him or a hawker spits at him, he can get out every 60 seconds so he doesn't require a stun gun but if you rock two stun guns and have that breakout no one is ever going to trap you literally if you know what you're doing and you know how to juke around and not get caught no one is ever going to catch you and i say that because he also has plus 25 percent stamina regen so he can run get his stamina back run get his stamina back and on top of that stamina regen he has plus five percent team move speed so he gives all the cleaners on his team plus plus 5% team move speed, which is clutch. That means they can move around faster. Now, stamina and move speed becomes irrelevant when you hit the five minute mark and swarm because the circle becomes smaller and you really can't move anywhere. But at that point, you already beat the other team because if you get to five minutes or more, that's gonna be a hard time to beat if you're the enemy team. Now let's move on to Walker, who is the next cleaner in the A tier category. And precision kills grant Walker plus 20% accuracy for five seconds. Most of your fights with special ridden are from medium to close range. And if they're far, then you most likely have a sniper on your team that'll take out a stinger or a wretch. But other than that, the accuracy isn't relevant to me. But the two good things that Walker has is the plus 10% damage and the plus team health. And I think that is really clutch because you know you get extra health and extra damage now let's move on to the s tier and this is basically the four cleaners that you should be picking when you play swarm mode if you're trying to sweat if you're trying to win any game and you're with a group 
These are the four cleaners you got to go for. And the first cleaner is Jim. Precision kills Grant Jim 2.5% stacking damage until he takes damage. That's critical right there because if you just get precision kills off common ridden, you can have more damage than Walker's 10% damage if you keep stacking it. And then after you know farm some ridden for some precision kills to get that damage, you can use that same damage buff on the special ridden that are trying to attack you. You just got to make sure you don't take damage. And then he has plus 25% aim down sight speed, which is really clutch if you're using snipers. And the big thing he has on his kit is plus 10% team weak spot damage. We all know weak spot damage is the way to go if you're trying to take down special ridden. Now the next character is Holly. Holly recovers 10 stamina when she kills a ridden. She has plus 10% damage resistance and she has plus 25 team stamina. Overall, she's giving team stamina and she's recovering stamina for herself when she kills a ridden. Now everyone knows whether you're playing Swarm or Nightmare, Holly is the way to go if you want to melee. But sometimes you don't even need to melee with her to make her relevant. I've won many games clutching it at the end because I had damage resistance and I kept recovering stamina so I was able to move around and juke the special ridden and get kills at the same time. So you can either use her as a regular cleaner, no melee build, or if you want to use her to her fullest potential, then you use a melee build and you can slay any tall boy, reeker, anything that gets in your face. She is definitely one of the best picks to use in swarm mode. Not only can she take down the common ridden, but she could also body the special ridden. Now the next cleaner in the S tier category is Doc. So each round she can heal each cleaner for 25 health. So that's three cleaners she can heal then she has 20 percent healing efficiency and the thing that stands out the most is her plus 25 percent team trauma resistance so if you keep finding healing around the map you won't have to worry about trauma if you keep taking damage you just keep healing yourself and the special ridden have to keep trying to get you down but if you keep healing yourself you'll never have trauma and you'll never get down and if doc is running a great build she can be the one taking your meds and healing you and healing herself at the same time the last s tier cleaner is mom mom can instantly revive a teammate once per level and in swarm terms that means once per round that is critical if you know you want to get a quick revive off if things are getting hectic that is a good perk she has right there and then she also has plus one support inventory so she can carry an extra bandage med kit pain pills and then she has plus one team extra life so that means you can go down in a fight three times instead of two that plus one team extra life is really critical in my opinion because if the enemy team is really really good and they get you down multiple times you get that extra cushion of being able to go down three times instead of two overall this is my cleaner tier list for swarm mode i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you play any of these cleaners and if you agree with it or disagree put it in the comment section below there's no hate here this is just my opinion and i know a lot of you have your own opinion and i respect that so just put in the comment section below what you think and what's your favorite cleaner to play as in swarm mode as always if you enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and turn that notification bell on this is Alfaro signing out.